I'm going to save you a lot of time watching manifestation videos, reading a lot of books. Some of them are 700 pages. I'm going to tell you one thing. Neville Goddard was right. Feeling is the secret. If there is one book that I would tell you to read, it's Feeling is the Secret too. But why Feeling is the Secret? Because what you can send to be true about yourself is the only thing that you will see in your world. Believe it or not, this is how reality works. What you can send to be true about your world will be experienced by you this 3D hologram. Just like a mirror, I told you again and again, I've been telling you for months, but now I know. Because I tried a lot of things, a lot of techniques, as vehicles of course, to get to the desired reality, to get to the feeling of the wish fulfilled. But there is one thing that always been proven right over and over and over again, and that is feeling is the secret. And I'm not gonna hide behind the bush and tell you that, hey, you need to just do this and adjust this and do that. You need to feel the reality that you wanna feel. Feel as if you are in that reality. How would you feel? Asking yourself, how would I feel now if this was a fact? is the only thing you need to do. Neville Goddard did something really interesting with his VIP members, and that was imagining yourself on a yacht, and people like two of your friends or two of your family members are coming to congratulate you. You are getting emotional. Once you get emotional, and you are like literally in tears of joy, this is what Neville taught back in the day. You are convincing the subconscious mind that, hey, I am now that man or that woman that I want to be. Apply that to anything in life. Money, relationships, cars, houses, whatever you want. It's all yours. Once you convince yourself that you are the man or the woman that you want to be and you experience it internally, you won't look for it on the outer world. You'll be just, hey, I experienced that. Why would I look for it? You already experienced it. And this is the trick to it. You know, Neville always talked about the feeling as something that it's already done the acceptance the fact that hey I already did that I experienced that feeling I already experienced that reality so I know how it feels once you are in that state of the wish fulfilled and after a lot of videos and a lot of books a lot of research there is one thing that I want you to know when you are feeling something to be true and you repeat it like you repeat a scene or you hear something in your imagination people are congratulating you or people are telling you the things that w they would tell you if it was a reality right now and you are feeling it in the present moment not something in the future or in the past no it's actually in the present moment they are telling you right now that it is done they are telling you right now and they are telling you that hey you are already that man they are telling you you're not telling them they are telling you like hey congratulations on your success congratulations on this house on this business on this car on this girlfriend on your marriage whatever it might be it's just as simple as that but you can go the route of you know I'm gonna study this metaphysically it's all good but I'm telling you a shortcut you don't need to just go in a loop of knowing more and knowing more and knowing more I'm telling you the caveat this is the caveat when you have this you literally have the secret, quote-unquote, because there is no secret, nothing new under the sun. And if there is someone that is telling you that there is nothing new under the sun, don't believe them because everything is here and now and everything exists here and now. Maybe they didn't reveal it to you, but there is nothing new. Everything is available to you. And day after day, it's getting revealed. But now I'm telling you, save your time watching manifestation videos Save your time reading a lot of books, even though they might be good. But if you want a practical thing to do, do what I'm about to tell you. Do the exercise that Neville told his students to do, and that is, you are on a beach or in your dream house, and you are seeing two of your friends or family members coming towards you in awe. They are amazed. And you are in that scene seeing them and hearing them congratulating you focus on experiencing that feeling not the actual imaginal act like the feeling the experience how would you feel and they are coming to you and they are congratulating you they are telling you wow you made it you are successful you already have all the things that you always wanted and you are getting that feeling inside of that imaginal act 
you are in it you are a part of the movie you are not you are not looking at it from far away you are in the movie you know what i mean i'm not trying to tell you to just sit down and see it as if you are seeing a movie no you are in the crew you are in the crew of that movie all right once you do that you are involving all your senses in it the sense of touch the sense of smell the sense of hearing you are hearing things you are seeing things you are touching you are involving and you are using all your spiritual senses in that imaginal act once you do it game over you have it why because you are making an impression on the subconscious mind just like you have the subconscious mind as a canvas and your imaginal acts are like the brush and you are drawing on that canvas whatever you impress on your subconscious mind will be expressed on the outer world and let me tell you something when you get to the point that you are experiencing it fully you are truly experiencing it internally you won't look for it on the outer world you won't look for confirmations because remember signs follow they do not proceed so you are experiencing it internally when you open up your eyes and you go about your day you will not be looking for confirmation why because you experienced it internally at some point with repetition when you are like imagining things with conviction you are doing it over and over and over again at some point you'll be like you know what I experienced that why would I imagine that again when I experienced it this is the point where you will be just like it happened it's done don't need to do it again need to, I don't need to do anything again all I need to do now is just relax and the truth of the matter is this there is no change that will happen unless you change what you are feeling internally if you're feeling like the world is just against you and everything goes wrong it will be that way and it will be your reality if you feel like the world is good and everything is working perfectly for you every single day and you are perseverant in that assumption then it will happen call it optimism call it whatever you want but this is the truth I don't want you to waste your life looking for the next big thing the next technique the next you know fancy book they are all good but if you want a practical thing to do right here right now in this very moment close your eyes and just imagine that you are in a place that implies the fulfillment of your desire and you are seeing two people that you trust and you love and they are telling you congratulations you've made it and you are feeling the feelings it's been done and they are congratulating you on your success that it's already an accomplished fact when you are doing that believe me a lot of things will change in your life a lot of things will happen a series of events will just occur out of nowhere all of a sudden you will wake up under compulsion you will go to places that you wouldn't normally go to you will call people that you wouldn't call and all of a sudden bam it's like a piece of puzzle every piece of puzzle is giving you a certain picture that picture even though you might feel like some things are just going wrong they're not they are just preparing you or they are a part of the unfoldment and sometimes magical things can really happen like sometimes you will find the wish in front of your own eyes without you lifting a finger literally it will fall into your lap but when you experience it internally you won't care whether you will have to work or not because you experienced it but don't take that and say you know what I'm gonna sit on the couch and do nothing all day this is signaling to the subconscious mind that you are a lazy piece of shit. I'm sorry I have to give you a reality check here this is the reality if you are corrupted here everything around you will be corrupted if you are good with or without the thing that you want then you know what you experienced it internally why because you already have it why would you care if it's on the outside or not and paradoxically when you reach that state everything just appears and this is how faith works faith on what you have done internally you changed who you are internally and once you change who you are internally bam you have everything in front of you and this is one of the things that people are shying away from like hey will I have to be working hard or doing this or doing that 
first of all, define working hard because we're putting labels on things because the world told us that it has to be that way. You know what? There is an artist that can be standing for 16 hours drawing a beautiful piece of art. You would look at him and be like, wow, he's working so hard. That must have been so difficult for him. And then you would go to him and ask him, hey man, how are you doing? He would go like, I'm good, I'm happy. And you would say like, you've been up for 16 hours on your feet. You are drawing for 16 hours straight. Aren't you a bit tired from all that work? He'd be like, no, I'm enjoying it. I'm happy. See, from his perspective, he's doing something that he loves to do anyway. From your perspective, you're looking at it as hard work. And here's the difference. You are wearing shades that only shows you a specific color of reality, maybe red. He is wearing a specific pair of shades that are showing him that he is seeing the world in a form of yellow yellow color only he's seeing yellow so you seeing red thinking that he is doing something wrong or he is doing something difficult when in reality in his reality there is nothing difficult it's something that he naturally does he can do it easily and this is what i want you to do when i tell you that sometimes you will do something that will aid you to get to the wish fulfilled this is something that you shouldn't even worry about you experienced it internally. So you will wake up every day naturally. You will not be looking for things to do in order to get that. If you are, for example, a business owner and you are doing certain tasks every single day, you will be still doing these things. But all of a sudden, a series of events will happen out of the blue that will make your business like 10x the revenue. Something that might be like you would say, it would have happened anyway, but it won't. It won't happen until you change internally to the point that you experienced your business thriving. And this is the secret to it all. Feeling is the secret. Feeling is the secret. I can't stress that enough. If you want to save yourself a lot of time, then focus on the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Neville Goddard was right all along. Neville Goddard was right. He always been right about this. He wanted to give us the simplest way possible to get to the desired reality we always wanted. Assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled and fall asleep knowing that you are that man or that woman that you always wanted to be. This is something that might sound simple and people are trying to overcomplicate things when it's not. It's easy. It's easy once you understand that you don't have to suffer, you don't have to make yourself saying affirmations 24 7 all you have to do is be in the feeling of the wish fulfilled affirmations are good i'm not telling you that affirmations are bad whatever technique that you're using and it's working for you perfect keep doing that and when you see results it will give you much more conviction this is why in feeling as the secret by neville goddard the book you would say that he omitted all the testimonials and the results and he challenged you to apply what he is talking about. He challenged you, and I'm challenging you right now to actually do that. Apply it. Apply these things. Don't just be a hearer of the word. Be a doer of the word. Once you do it, and once you see things are changing in front of your own eyes, and you'll be like, ah, oh, I imagined that. I felt that internally. I experienced that. People think that imagination is only seeing things in your mind. It can be hearing, it can be touching, it can be smelling. It's using your spiritual sensation to aid you to get into the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Once you get into that feeling, game over, it's yours. Everything is yours. You can have whatever you want. I just saved you a lot of years and a lot of time reading books, watching videos, trying to understand how the universe works. You can still just see how it works and see how this whole thing actually works. But I'm giving you right now a practical thing that you can use tonight. You can use right after watching this video. Right after watching it, sit down, slow down your brain waves, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Immobilize your body and then 
Just imagine two people congratulating you on your success. Just do that. Repeat the scene over and over and over. And by the way, this visual act is just something like a vehicle that will get you to that feeling. Once you get to that feeling, experience it as much as you want until you are fulfilled. If you need to do it again tomorrow, do it tomorrow. If you need to do it many times during the day, do it until at one point you'll be like, hey, I don't need to do that. I experienced it. I don't need to look for it. I don't need to just look for evidence that it's happening. You don't need any of that because you experienced it. This is why feeling is the secret. And this is why all the techniques will actually make you reach that point of feeling the reality of the thing desired. And this is why in my ebook, I just gathered all the info from all the videos, all the books, and I just made it in a simple way that you can read it so naturally to the point that you would say, this is so easy, I'm going to apply it now. And this is the point. A 26-page ebook, you can check it in the link in the description box. This is all you need. You need to just apply these things, not only read about them, but apply them. And once you do, bam, your reality will change. And I guarantee you. So that's it for today's video. I know you got something out of it. And until next video, I will see you soon. Done.